dog whistles are most effective when they are used in narratives that seem to have very little to do with what the dog whistle is all about. So as uh, Whitmer, who is running for the mayor of Houston, is asked about diversity in Houston, he wants to make an attack on, well, not an attack. He wants the voter to think by going ahead and electing a black woman, you are likely, or I should say a black person, you are likely to see what this current black person who is, is holding the office of mayorship in uh, in Houston is doing with regards to all the different ethnicities that live in the city. But if that current mayor has done a good job in making sure that his administration is a diverse administration, what do you have to do? Misrepresent it. And not only misrepresent it, but also do it in a manner that seems like you are not uh, you are are writing above the fray you're not implicating that Sheila Jackson Lee would do uh <clears throat> what she would do but you put the inference in people that says but look at what Sylvester Turner did and what you did to Sylvester Turner the current mayor of Houston is misrepresent what he's hired it's a certain level of cynicism it's a certain level of sinister it's a sinister behavior because it shows what is within your character, that you are willing to win a race by creating a false racialization where none should really exist. And, you know, this type of behavior should be, you know, I can understand if the average American non-political citizen listening to this don't get it. But the media is there and the media should immediately have seen what John Whitmire was doing out there. Oh, my chief of staff was Korean. My other person was this. And, and, and by the way, uh, Houston is a diverse city and look at City Hall. Look at the heads in City Hall. Well, yeah, let's really look at all the heads at City Hall and who they have been. Uh, Turner has been there for eight years. Right. Look at who and what they've been throughout these years, not just an instant in time. This is sinister and this speaks about character. Let's listen to how uh, Whitmar said it and then we'll take it on the other side. We brag about our diversity, rightfully so. We're the most diverse city in the nation, something to be proud of. I went to high school here attended U of H. I've watched this beautiful transition. It's taking place as we gather here tonight. But City Hall does not represent that diversity. Look at the department heads. Pull them up. Google them. Look at who's running the city of Houston. It's not the Asian community. The Hispanic community is severely underrepresented. So let's practice what we're so proud of. Let's bring everyone together. Let's be in every community. Let's take care of those that need a voice at City Hall. I've got a record of longevity in my office. A Korean, G.G. Lee, has been my chief of staff in my district office for 17 years. Laura Weller, my chief of staff in Austin, has been there 20 years. People want to work for me because we get things done. We do significant things. We don't just hand out proclamations and flags. We present results. I noticed that... Uh that Whitmer got some high-profile Latinos, and I don't, I didn't see any high-profile African Americans, but some some African Americans touting support for him. I tell you something: that Whitmer did what he did in that little piece, even as some would not see it as sinister as it is should point out that it's a slick operator that just like Kim Og wanted to show Republicans that she would 
somehow go after black voters the way she did that guy that was no build in Montgomery County. And then she went ahead and indicted uh, or attempted to indict him here in, in Harris County. The same behavior, a, a Democrat that should be progressive and looking out for progressive issues, actually making a play to work on, first of all, the sensibility of the majority class in general, but specifically on what, uh, uh, what some Republicans would say, ah, maybe that's an acceptable Democrat. Let's throw our weight behind this person. It is a sinister model. And I, I hope people understand exactly what's occurring here. Uh, Sylvester Turner did. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.